In this lesson, we'll continue our review of Math Test 9, Section 4, Calculator Permitted. We're now getting deeper into the section, problems 25 through 28. All right, let's take a look at 25. If the sine of x equals a, which of the following must be true for all values of x? Not a lot of true questions on the revised test, the new SAT. Sometimes it'll be a basic SOHCAHTOA. But the one cofunction identity you need to know is that the sine of an angle will always equal the cosine of its complement. And what are complementary angles? Remember, they add up to 90. So if you had, let's say, a right triangle, and let's say this is x. So the sine of x, think about what is sine with Sokotoa that is opposite over hypotenuse, right? So let's say this is 4 fifths, the sine of this angle. We know that this angle here is the complement of x because they add up to 90. So let's say this is y. What would be the cosine of y? The cosine of y, think about that's adjacent over hypotenuse. You see it's that same ratio of 4 fifths. So if you just remember, complementary angles, the sine of one will equal the cosine of its complement and vice versa. So which of the following must be true for the sine of x if it equals a? It is the cosine of its complement right whatever x is 90 minus x is the complement equals a so the answer here is c just remember that one co-function identity all right let's take a look at number 26 the quadratic function above models the height above the ground h and feet of a projectile x seconds after it's been launched vertically if y equals h of x is graphed in the xy plane which of the following represents the real life meaning of the positive x intercept of the graph this is like another common question and this is what i call a physics type question where we have a parabola and it's applied to a real life situation. So think about this projectile. We start at the ground. It's launched upward. It reaches some maximum height. That would be the vertex, right? It's a, remember, it's a downward opening parabola. We see that negative A. And then it comes back down and it hits the ground again. So the question is just saying, what in the real life application of this problem does the x-intercept, you should see that's when the projectile's on the ground, right? So it's not the initial height, it's not the maximum height, that would be the vertex, the time at which it reaches the maximum height, no. The time at which it hits the ground, these two points. So the answer here is D. Let's take a look at 27. In the xy plane, the graph of the polynomial function f crosses the x-axis at exactly two points, a0 and b0, where a and b are both positive. Which of the following could define f? This is a pretty straightforward question. We have these functions in intercept form, and they're just saying what would the two solutions be for a and b for the x, and they're both positive. And so we know that we're looking for a negative sign, right? Because if we had, let's say, x minus 5 as the factor, we know 5 would be the solution. So both of these, because they're positive, both of the x's have to be positive. And so the answer here is simply a. All right. And let's take a look. By the way, for D, even though this looks good, this extra X would be zero. So that is not right. All right, let's take a look at the last question. We're on question 28. If Y equals three X squared plus six X plus two is graphed in the XY plane, which of the following characteristics of the graph is displayed as a constant or a coefficient in the equation? This is another question where it's just kind of understanding what the terminology is, but this is the standard form of a parabola. Again, you should know the three types of forms of parabola. There's standard, there's vertex, and intercept form. This is in standard form. And the question says, which of the following characteristics of this standard form is displayed as a constant? So really what this means is where you actually see the number. It's not like you have to figure it out with, with like, like if they asked for the, the vertex for the x coordinate, that'd be negative b over 2a. That's not displayed as a constant. We don't see negative b over 2a. The only one that's a constant, think about if you set the two x's to zero, would be the two, which is the y intercept. So again, just understanding what this question's asking for. And so the answer here is C.